I'll just give this to you at the end. Okay. This is the last survey. Um, so let's just start off by having you say your name, the name of your film, and yeah, that's good. And your um, part in making the film. My name is Michael Albright, and my film was What You Gotta Do, and I was the writer and director. I'm Kristen Schack. And Justin Schack. And we were co-directors and co-writers on Illegal Aliens. Uh, my name is Ashley Dees, and I am the writer-director for this array. So can you each explain how you got the concept for these films? Um, so basically, the way I got the concept for the story, what you got to do, was uh, one of the very first things that happened was I met James Gillespie, and I was so overwhelmed by his deep, powerful voice that uh, me and some of the guys I worked with wanted to write a story that could feature him as the main character. Um, at the same time, the election was going on, and we were not very happy with the two choices, the two main choices that were being presented to us, um, it seemed like the lesser of two evils wasn't really a choice for any of us. And so we, you know, basically told a story where the main character, Leroy, is faced with two choices, either completing a recording that would end someone's life who's in a coma, um, or not doing it. And neither choice is really good because it's, he's wrapped up in a lot of shady stuff. So how, you know, what could Leroy do to think outside the box. Uh, how could he reject those two choices and um, pick a, a third choice, maybe something that takes a little more creative thinking. And so, yeah, that's how it all started. So we actually came up with the concept in the, and wrote the script, um, I think probably three years ago. And then it kind of went on the shelf and just kind of sat there. And then it was last spring as the primaries were underway. And we're like, okay, this conversation has come back to the forefront and we really need to make this now. So we pulled it off the shelf, um, revised some of the lines and actually took some direct quotes from what was going on and um, pursued to make it before the election. Agreed. <laughs> Great job to everybody. Yeah, likewise. <laughs> um, I got the concept for Viceroy. I worked with the two main actors um, in a feature film um, and some other projects. Uh, before this, and um, you could probably also tell that music is a really big inspiration for me. Um, so I had like a theme song running in my head, and I really wanted to work with the actors again um, and get. I just really like the chemistry between the two of them, um, and also our company, Nuance Entertainment. Um, we like to create um, colorful characters for every genre. We don't really well. I haven't really seen a lot of like African American or Latino. Um, characters in like murder mystery thriller type of um, drama so and I also wanted to show like a brotherhood family type of uh, film with a twist. Thank you. Does anyone in the audience have a question? Okay I will ask another one. Um, I always like to ask any triumphs or struggles that occurred while filming and if that um you know how you've learned from that and taken it on to further filmmaking or other projects well i i, I can speak to uh our scheduling was particularly difficult we, our, we had an awesome uh cast and crew but everybody was volunteer on our set so we um we packed that whole entire uh city hall scene in one day and that included the three hours per alien in makeup yeah. so uh, they had probably about a 14 15 hour day they didn't um, get on the set until um after lunch so they were they had the first call time but then they didn't go to set until yeah i think right before we broke for lunch so it was it was a long day and yeah coordinating everyone's schedules we shot at the end of august um in minnesota which is really difficult because everyone is either really busy with work or they're up at the cabin so um, that was probably our biggest challenge, but we really rallied together. We had an amazing cast and crew. So. Yeah, uh, the stars aligned, so to yeah. speak. Yeah. Um, I think the toughest thing was just working around every, everybody's schedules, sort of like you guys. Um, for example, the night before we were scheduled to shoot in the barber shop where Chazay works, um, something came up in his life that was more important. And so we just had to 
roll with it and say, okay, it's not going to work tomorrow, so let's find another time. And that kind of stuff happens all the time. So I think as a filmmaker, you have to be flexible and you have to be, you have to have a plan B. So. And can you share any projects that you're currently working on with us? Well, we're, we're shooting a short next weekend um, for an actor as friend of ours who wrote a script, so we're directing that. And then we have a couple feature scripts actually underway, so. Um, my team is actually working on a new film um, that would sort of be like The Matrix meets Napoleon Dynamite. So it has those bizarre sci-fi elements, but also has kind of a quirky look of Napoleon Dynamite. And um, it's something we started writing, but it's you know not ready to be filmed yet. So, awesome. um, my business partner and I, Ricky, is back there. <laughs> um, we just wrapped uh, the main season of our web series, which is called Anthology. Um, we have a pilot season available now on YouTube, um, but this is going to be like a much bigger endeavor. <laughs> um, so I'm just in post production for that. So that's what's next. Congratulations, that was yeah. really exciting. Thank you. Um, I have a question for, um, uh, what are you gonna do? Why black and white? What do you choose uh, to, do, to do with that like that? We chose black and white because we knew that we could go into a location, set up quickly, and just focus on lighting, on just one element of composing the scene. And I'm, I'm still a new filmmaker, so I have a lot I have to learn. And so what that did is by limiting ourselves to black and white, it actually uh, made it easier um, and also more powerful, I think, because we're just looking at that one variable. And that was the reason why we chose black and white. So. Tied in with your theme, too. Like, almost two, two choices. choices. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tied in with the theme, too, yeah. <laughs> Good observation. <laughs> Hi, I have a question, actually, for all of you guys. Um, who were your inspirations um, as far as uh, Filmmakers, uh, your style, or yeah. the theme. Yeah, uh, well, we're kids of the '80s and '90s, so you can recognize sort of our attachment to sitcom television yeah. uh, and how, you know, Spielberg movies, things like yeah. that. That's, I mean, yeah, the, the film itself was um, sort of, sort of that current today, you know, sitcom television of the that mockumentary style, and then the credit sequence was based off of, you know, the great. Perfect Strangers, Full House style that we grew up on. So just a love for TV inspired this particular film. Uh, for me, my big, biggest inspiration is definitely Christopher Nolan. And the guys that I work with know that. I talk about him all the time. <laughs> uh, you know, anything I get my hands on, any interview, article, I, I just eat it up. And I love the way that he approaches storytelling uh, intellectually. And he gives the audience a lot of credit I think that sometimes um, these pop culture filmmakers don't do that, and um, you're kind of missing out on something that could be really powerful. So that's something that we try to do too. We want to tell stories that challenge the audience um, and that you know that make people think. So um, I think for Viceroy, my inspirations were probably Tarantino and Martin Scorsese. You can probably tell I really like a lot of dialogue um, <laughs> and uh, definitely a little element of violence. <laughs> Any other questions? Can I ask a question? Yeah, absolutely. I'd like to ask you a question. Yeah. Uh, tell us about your talent. Are they? Do they know each other before it? Did, how did you cast them? Stuff like that. I thought they were great together. So, oh, thank yeah. You. Thank you. Um, they did not know each other before. I went to school. Um, with the character who played Will, his name is William Lewis Smith. Um, and I met Jonathan, um, the main character, Nelson, um, in New York. And I originally, I uh, was working on a story about a stalker, and <laughs> that was William's character, but it kind of developed and you can't really, there are little bits of it in the final product. But um, they hadn't met each other before, but I kept hyping 
the other one up. Yeah. So the first like table read we had, they were so excited. They're like, I'm ready. I'm ready to yeah. be your brother or half brother or whatever. You know, let's do it. And so they're actually both um, starring in anthology with Ricky and myself and two other characters. So we've um, this is actually the first film that we got our cast and crew together. We've been working all together the same <laughs> over and over and over. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Have you considered making it into a feature? Um, people ask me that <laughs> a lot. Um, we have probably enough material to uh, turn it into a feature, but um, we actually, I decided to just branch out into doing the web series anthology just to get them back together again. And um, I feel like this was kind of self-sufficient, but I have thought about doing a sequel with um, Andrea's character, um, sort of like a, Double revenge yeah. after she finds what happened to her dad. So maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Any other questions? Um, quick question for the uh, book of the. Like, <laughs> yeah. Have you guys thought about doing it into a web series? Because it seems like it would lend itself to that, especially if you like the old TV genre and kind of really put it together. It's pretty funny. I liked it a lot. Well, thank you. Um, we actually haven't thought about doing that as a web series. We did. The script was actually a lot longer and there was a lot more of those sort of um, interview moments and, and talked about how it would be longer, but we you know, kind of cut it down um, for a shorter time frame. but we had not thought about that. But maybe we will now, <laughs> so thank you. Yeah, there's plenty of fodder out there for us to yeah. keep it going, I suppose. <laughs> Any other questions? Awesome, one more big round of applause for these filmmakers. <laughs> Don't forget to vote, and I just want to make a, a few quick more announcements. Um, at 7.30, we will be honoring Andy Timoner, um, and right before that, we have a little red carpet um, cocktail party. It should be great. Um, after that, we are playing our Women's Film Challenge films. Um, there were 200 films submitted by female directors, producers, writers, and editors, and these films are the top 10. So they're pretty incredible. Um, yes, we hope to see you there.